Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, this is uh, my very first time ever playing a Harry Potter game uh, or really buying anything Harry Potter related for myself. I've seen all the movies. Um, I think my grandma took me to see like maybe two or three movies, the first two or three movies uh, in theaters. I think that was kind of like a running tradition, kind of like what we did with uh, Lord of the Rings. Um, but I've seen the other movies probably like through streaming services or maybe I did go to the movies. I remember there was one that was in 3D for like a moment and I saw that. Um, but other than that, I haven't watched any of the movies outside of the Harry Potter uh, stories. Uh, never read any of the books and I really don't give a damn about he, uh, she who will not be named. Um, that's the big elephant in the room right now because of the game uh, is of course uh, based on the world that this uh, person created. And so I'm not doing it to support this person. I don't support her in anything that she does. Uh, well, anything she has to say. Um, but this is a video game. I love video games and I want to play it uh, because it actually looks interesting. Um, quick note, I've already played the first hour of the game. I actually recorded this and found out that my audio was messed up. So here we are. Um, I'm doing this again. Uh, I've already got sorted and everything like that, and I had to delete that whole file. Uh, but good thing it was only an hour. Um, but the real reason why I bought this game is because it looks like a good game, and I don't care about that one person who said anything. I care about the people who actually sat there and made this game and was working on this game for so long, and it just so happens that the person that created the world that they are designing happens to be a piece of crap. So. Other than that, uh, the other news is uh, if you look at me, if you think that I look a little bit weird while playing the game, it's because uh, for the past couple days, I just realized that something was kind of going on with my face. And so if you look at my face, um, kind of hard to close my uh, left eye. Apparently, this side of my face is kind of like slightly weaker than this side. So I can't really smile or anything like that. I can close my eyes. It just takes a little bit more power to do it but if you ever see me blink and i don't blink this left eyes because of that so anyways let's go ahead and jump into the game guys if you want to support the channel make sure to go ahead and leave a like and subscribe guys it would definitely help out and um yeah so let's go ahead and jump into the game so we're gonna create a new character kind of upset that i have to do all this over because now you're not gonna get a genuine uh feel of my um excitement of the intro of this game it's pretty exciting i'm not gonna lie uh we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardry as a fifth year student terms begin on 1 september i don't know why it says 1 september it could just say first of september anyways preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle as you may be aware the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eleazar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the State of Term Feast and Assorting Ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Um, I'm not sure if that's the same uh, Weasley, uh, Ron Weasley's mother or maybe grandmother. I don't know exactly how far behind this is of the Harry Potter uh, story. So we're going to do our character creation. Um, select old homeboy right here. One thing I do like is that the hairstyles are really good. Um, as a person of color, I do like it when games offer some kind of, um, you know, options for, you know, hair for like you know people like me um i was rocking this haircut but i think i'm gonna go with i think i'm gonna go with that i think i'm gonna rock that uh that looks pretty dope uh oh wait i'm forgetting something glasses gotta have the glasses man you can't be in harry potter with no glasses what's wrong with you all right, so freckles, moles. I do have a couple little spots on my face. You know, I'm a little bit old. And uh, eyebrows on fleet. There we go. Eye color. Uh, I have brown eyes. That, what is that, black? Okay. 
and we're gonna give voice tone one and deep in that pitch. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. All right, let's go ahead and name ourselves. And we are a wizard. Uh, apparently, selecting which a wizard uh, determines your character's dormitory. Um, I'm not exactly sure if witch or wizard basically. I mean, I figured that witch was a female um, wizard and a male witch was a wizard. So, you know, males were wizards, females were witches. But I don't know. I don't play, I don't, you know, do Harry Potter or anything like that. But when it comes to like, um, you know, fantasy and stuff like that, uh, the only books that I do read is the Harry Dresden series. It's an amazing series by Jim Butcher. Um, I'm like 16 books in deep. Uh, love the series. So let's go ahead and start our journey. Now, I've already done all this, so sadly, you're not going to get my real reactions. I'm just kind of here for the ride ah, until we get back to where I was. We are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a I really wish world. that they had uh, locks. That was one room. things that I was looking for a lot, like I have. I appreciate but, you working. Oh well. All the time. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar, George. Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Yeah, his face got serious real quick. I thought this was a glitch. I thought that the horses didn't spawn and, but nope, it just, there's nothing. There's nothing there. Well, there is something, but yeah, nothing. Somebody's watching us. The wonderful wizarding world. Companion. A new student. I love how he asked me if it was okay if he could ride along, but he I'm didn't ask my name until just now. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Truth or gobbledygook? To how great a threat Ranrock really is. Ranrock, that's his name. I almost got his name wrong earlier. If he is a significant threat, mm. and it's a little bit of a dragon, Eliazar, 
who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. Oh, okay, so they already it stated that she had died. Own. I didn't catch that before. But with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. Yeah, now nah, that's wild. Yeah, that owl was like, yeah, bye. I'm out. Yeah, that's what was uh flying us. Yo, my man poured it out real quick. Okay, so he used uh, Accio. Um, I do know that there's a such thing as an Accio charm that's supposed to teleport right? things. You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan Weld Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. All right, so let's go ahead and drink this Wigan Weld Potion. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key or why. It sucks because, like, I had a really good reaction. I had a really good reaction. I can't even, I couldn't even, like, give you the real authentic reaction to this whole, like, first part of this game. Now it's just gonna be me trying to get from point A to point B back to where I was. Porky take us. Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you think the porky was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that porky to George for a reason. And I believe that she. And now George died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Okay. So one thing I noticed in this game is the jumping in this game oh wait the jumping oh okay so running jumps are actually not that bad stationary jumps are kind of weird it's like a regular jump is like hee hee this one is like yeah all right so that's not bad right. long forgotten form of ancient magic combat in this game is actually pretty dope ancient magic yes a powerful magic wielded by a rare few Seems to have been lost to time. 
Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Yeah, now we gotta wait for this guy to get here. But, uh, but combat is actually pretty dope. Wife searching for evidence of lost magic. Because like the way that you attack is like, um, you just the tap the R2 button. Like you don't so tap and hold, you literally do. tap it but to like, yeah, 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 yeah. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Yeah, that's actually really dope. Okay, yeah. Basically, he's teaching us how to... Oh, wait! It, we slid down. I don't remember that doing that. A bit rougher than I'd expected. I don't remember sliding. No. Oh, okay. All right. It'd be cool if we could jump up there. We can actually jump up here. Oh, it's not gonna let us do it. Uh, up there. Hey, what's what's back here? Oh, a chest. You know what? I totally missed that last time. Good thing I went backwards. Yeah, I totally missed that chest. We're close now. It's just ahead. This is a really good looking game. They really paid attention to detail with this game. Almost there. Yo, somebody is cooking some food right now. It got me hungry. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. All right, so we got to go over here. All right, yeah, we got to go around this corner and check out this. I wonder if we could fall off the edge. I'm not even going to try to, I'm not even going to take that chance. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Guess we're going to investigate this. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Oh, okay. Where are we? I don't believe it. Hello? Smells like somebody's making some collard greens right now. Yeah, it make me hungry as hell. <clears throat> uh, hello? <clears throat> knock, knock. It can't be.
Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Ooh. Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key? Mm -hmm. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. You. I always wondered what, like, I know that Harry Potter's story takes place in pretty modern times, just modern times, but if you don't wish to is there a reason why they dress like they're in the 1920s? Like, I want to see somebody, like, why don't students just walk around with, you know, regular kind of uniforms, not like they were and made in the 1920s. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just I think this is really dope. Lobby. The vaults you see now are the new... No matter what, it stays stationary and everything rotates around it. They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. you want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. So, as I don't know anything really about, like, the deep lore of Harry Potter, and I don't really remember the movies all that well, and never read Vault the books, number. I'm gonna miss out on a lot of Vault stuff. 12. Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. On your way. Yeah, that guy's arm was glowing red. Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are at Vault 12. Here we are. Okay. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Oh, what's... Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a chest over there on the right-hand side. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. Okay, so let's go ahead and just open up this chest. There we go. We got 36 gold. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might- The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelia, perhaps. 
Revelio. Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Okay, so we're gonna learn Revelio right here. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool how you do the um, spells, Rebellion. but it's of course it's only the time in which you uh, are Move about to learn a spell that you do again. the actual uh, wand motions. Other than that, you just put it to your hotkeys. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! We need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Is disapparating a word? Or is that just like a Harry Potter thing? I gotta Google that. I see something up ahead. You probably just saw what like a it? weird cut before because I had just gotten That's some food. I was hungry as hell. And because I had to restart doing this video, I had to get something to eat. So yeah, there was a little interesting cut right there. I was starving. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. All right, so we got to use uh, Revelo. Revelio. Oh, Revelio. This is what you Revelio. saw reflected in the floor. Revelio. It is. Know. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Okay, so we're going to guide this. That's actually kind of cool how you do the thing. You actually have to guide it. Uh, and it moves slowly. And if you're not going the right way, then it slows down. You've acquired the one lighting charm, Lumos which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. All right, and we're gonna learn a little bit of combat here. Combat is actually pretty dope. I actually really like the combat in this game. Tego. Get that man with that Levioso. Yo, he's doing some damage. Holy crap. Okay, so we gotta use Protego. Wait, I was holding. I was doing triangle. Attack me. Alright, so R2 to cast these spells. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, I guess I did it too early. Lumos. 
Yeah, he, he's Professor. gone. Professor Fig. All right, we got to follow Fig this right here. This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? Look at the lighting on the coat. That's like What's really happening? dope. And you this can feel your footsteps in the controller as somewhere. you run. Oh, that's where they're leading me. All right, so now we got to do some solo stuff right here by ourselves. Oh, we got to do uh Revelio. Revelio. My own this time. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of there. All right, let's do this. Oh, wait, what? That's weird. Okay, so yeah, you can't just hold it. Oh, I was hitting the R2 button. No, oh, we just gotta attack him. Hold triangle during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy counter attack. Stun enemies take extra damage indicated by gold numbers. with that stupefy. Oh, okay. So if you see the little indicator around you, then that somebody's gonna attack. Cause I was like, I can't see everywhere around me. All right. So that was, uh, I, I learned a little bit more about the combat this time. All right. So let's go ahead. Lumos. So now we have this gate. I just realized the ground is glowing red around us. Are we taking... And then now the floor is like glowing blue around here. It's actually pretty interesting. Looks like the water of life. Now I'm kind of upset because I'm, I'm over here walking around looking like Jaden Smith. Uh, there you are. How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. <clears throat> Follow my lead. This guy looks like Merlin. So I know what happens, but I'm wondering if this guy literally designed this place using just magic. All is in place. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. 
We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow. So I wonder if you take the yes, memory out of your head and put it in the thing. Do you lose that memory? Magic. Or does it like create a copy? Of an ancient magic to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were you all looked rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. I'm not gonna lie, he Brown looks kind of right. badass. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever gonna visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just... Give me whatever it is you found here, and we can let bygones be bygones. Yeah, no, nah, that's not gonna happen. Uh, uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. This man is serious about his job. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. He cracked I the ground with his body. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Mm -hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Yeah, nah, don't worry about that. Alright, so now we got like this, uh, vault guardian here or something. Don't know what this thing is, but I don't ever want to fight it. It reminds me of the destroyer from, uh, Thor. From the Marvel, uh, Thor movie. Yeah, I think it's attacking anyone. All right. Are you all right? I mean, Fighter. maybe. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. All right, and here we are at good old Hogwarts. That's a weird name for a place, but you know, I guess it matches with the, um, you know, the whole wizarding thing. That person in there need to use crazy words to 
name people and things. I don't think I'm ever gonna say her name uh, in this video or in these videos. Okay, so now we should be uh, about to get our, yeah, we're going to get the sorting hat and see where we get placed. That's I know good. exactly what I'm we going for. Ceremony. So you make choices and based I'm on the choices no expert, that you make are based on uh, what uh, house you're going to be attached to. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. I feel like I'm about to change my hair. Not really a big fan of this hair. Ceremony? If it's possible to change my hair, I'd like to do that. This guy looks like Gary Oldman when he was a little bit younger. I forgot this guy's Phineas, name, Nigelis Black, yeah. Black. That's actually a really Prepare cool name. I'll give him that one. That is a really dope headmaster. name. Master. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. Rumors. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Yo. I really need to change my outfit, man. These socks is killing me. I look like I'm out here about to play golf in the 1920s. Over here looking like a horse jockey with them socks on. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Oh, equestrian looking ass boy. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Oh, shit, they put Oogie Boogie on my head. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Yeah, I want to explore. to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Uh, curiosity. A desire to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. Mmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Yup, yup, we going to Ravenclaw, baby. I mean, I never thought of Ravenclaw as a house that I would want to be in. I think whenever I, like, thought about what, uh, house I was ever going to be in, I always said, like, Gryffindor, because, I mean, Gryffindor I thought of, like, as the good guys or whatever, but houses aren't exactly good or bad, they're just different in how they handle things, and so, yeah, I'm more of a, uh, creativity, uh, creative person, uh, I think I'm pretty witty, uh, so let's go ahead and accept this house. You belong in Ravenclaw!
What are they eating? Oh, and one more thing. One Due to the more thing. Injury on the pitch in last spring's final. This year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. He was like, bro, that's all I came here to do. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Yeah, not really much to do. It's already nighttime. We got like, what, an hour or two to sleep before we got to go into Quite class tomorrow? Entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet oh, you as well, Oh, okay, so yeah, that's Professor as Weasley. As headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. I don't know Thank if that's Ron me. Weasley's mother, grandmother, or aunt. I mean, I don't really know the Weasley's family dynamic and how they work. It's quite uncommon um, for a student to be But I mean, it's too my on the nose that she's related. But one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be able to Okay, much cool. Help, let's afraid. let's go ahead and solve this, this riddle. This thing has always confounded me. Who lived longer? The ghost or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. Is there a difference between a poltergeist and a ghost? Well done. Does a poltergeist become now, go on in a poltergeist after seat. being a ghost? A I don't I don't understand. Tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. They would have hit me with that puzzle and I would have been like, Alright, just take me to Gryffindor because I'm not going to solve this shit. Alright, so this is going to be our first day at Hogwarts. And we are up. Okay, alright. Um, Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Okay. Oh, did I just knock over books? Yes, I did. Can I knock over the books? Yes, I can. And what do we got here? Oh, that is a horrible mirror. Oh, my God. Give me this old ass room. All right, guys, and we're going to end the video here. Um, thank you guys for all watching. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to leave a like. Uh, go ahead and subscribe so you are seeing more videos of me coming out every day. Uh, I will be dropping this uh, this video on the 8th. I'm playing this on the 7th. I'll drop this on the 8th, which is Wednesday. And, uh, yeah, from every day on, we will we'll be dropping another video daily, of course. Uh, right now, we have Dead Space still finishing up. I think I have, like, two more videos of that going up. Then we'll be playing this. Uh, Star Wars Survivor was actually delayed, and so we will be playing that uh, Jedi Fallen Order, uh, the prequel to that, uh, very soon. So, thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.